Hey there, in today's video, I'm gonna show you a quick and easy tutorial on how you can use the Kepler wallet to manage your crypto assets in the Cosmos ecosystem, including also Celestia and many of the other app chains that are available for this wallet. For starters, what you're going to want to do is go to kepler.app and you'll be able to install this wallet as a browser extension. When you hit install, you can choose whichever web browser you're using. I'm actually using the Brave browser, but I should be able to install it by hitting on the Chrome page and then hitting up here, add to Brave. Once you've added the Kepler wallet as a browser extension, it's gonna show up on your bookmarks bar at the top. And if you want to, you can pin it to make sure that it's always available when you want to use it. Now, at this point, there's three different things that you can do. You can either create an entirely new wallet from scratch. You can import a pre-existing wallet from somewhere else by inputting the seed phrase or the private key or you can simply connect a hardware wallet. So if you have, for example, a ledger or a Trezor device where you have Atom tokens or Celestia tokens, you can import that to the Kepler wallet. So these are the three options. However, today I'm going to be creating a brand new wallet from scratch. When you hit create new wallet, you are going to have to create a new recovery phrase. Now, I'm going to blur this part, obviously for security reasons, and this is the private key or secret phrase that gives you access to your crypto assets. So if someone was able to get that, they'll be able to steal your crypto assets. Make sure you write this down somewhere safe where no one else can find it. And that is the most important part of this entire process. Once you do that, your wallet will be initialized. And you'll get to this point right here, step three of three, where you can select the different chains that you want to use it for. However, you can always go back later and add other ones if you want to. For the purposes of this tutorial, I'm actually going to set up a new account using the Celestia chain, and I'm going to send some Celestia tokens to it. So I'll select this one as well. Of course, also, Cosmos or Atom tokens is one of the most frequently used chains for this wallet. So once you've selected which blockchains you want to use this wallet for, you can go ahead and hit save and the account is now created. Now up here where I've pinned the browser extension wallet, I can open this up. I can see the name of my account and I can see what assets I have in it. Currently, obviously I have nothing, so let's fix that. And I'm gonna send some Celestia tokens to my brand new Kepler wallet. Because in order to use the wallet for anything, including staking assets, you're going to need, obviously, first of all, to fund it. So let me show you how you can send TIA tokens to your new Kepler wallet. And really, it's quite simple. What you need to do is hit on this button here that says copy address. Then it's gonna pop up showing you the addresses for the different blockchains you've enabled. And then I just need to copy the wallet address here for my Celestia wallet. I can also use the QR code feature if I wanted to. If I was, for example, sending funds from a mobile device, then I can scan this QR code and it would automatically send those funds to this wallet. However, I'm just going to hit copy here and go over to Binance where I have some TIA tokens and I'm going to send these over to my new wallet. Now, one important thing to mention here is that some crypto exchanges or wallets require a memo field to send or receive Celestia token. However, in the case of the Kepler wallet, you don't need the memo to be able to receive tokens. You just need to copy the address itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and send 25 TIA to this new address, and then I'll show you what you can actually do with it. Okay, so that deposit has successfully gone through, and now I have 24.9, or basically 25 Celestia tokens in the Kepler wallet. So what can I do with this? Well, for starters, you'll notice that down here, there's a couple of arrows in this button where you can actually swap. And this means that you can swap even between different app chains within the Cosmos ecosystem. So for example, directly within the Kepler application, I could swap between Celestia and Atom tokens if I wanted to, as well as many of the other tokens that exist within this ecosystem. Now, I'm not going to do this right now, but it's definitely a useful feature to be aware of, especially for the convenience of it. And you'll notice that there are small transaction fees for these swaps, but nothing compared to, for example, if you are making transactions on the Ethereum blockchain. And one important thing to note here is that if the Kepler wallet does an airdrop at some point in the future, which some people have speculated might happen, but is by no means confirmed. But if they do do an airdrop, then having made a couple of swaps within their application itself could be one of the qualifying factors for that airdrop. Anyways, what else can we do with the wallet? Well, going back to the homepage here, this is where we can see a quick overview of the assets. But you'll notice that if I hit on this button here that says manage portfolio in Kepler dashboard, it's gonna open up into a new tab 
with much more detailed information where I can actually keep track of my assets as well as do other things, including stake. And so this is what the Kepler dashboard looks like. On the left hand side, you'll notice that there's a couple of different options. The first is the dashboard where you can see the distribution of the assets that you have in the portfolio. Obviously right now I have 100% of the funds in this wallet in the Celestia token. The next thing you can do here though is stake. And when you hit on this, you get to choose which validator you want to stake your Celestia or TIA tokens with. So if I want to stake some TIA, for example, I would open up this, hit on Celestia, and then choose a validator to stake with. Now, an important thing to know when you're choosing a validator to stake with is that they charge different commissions. So for example, these guys charging a 100% commission means that you would get 0% of the approximately 17% APR that is currently given to Celestia validators. So you wanna choose a validator that has a lower commission, somewhere between five and 10 should be good. And you wanna choose one that is both trustworthy, reliable, and also has some sort of safety in numbers. And so Kepler automatically ranks the validators for you by the number of TIA tokens they have delegated to them. I recommend choosing one within the top 20 or 50 validators for sure and also try to make sure that they have a pretty low commission rate. And before actually choosing a validator, I definitely recommend doing a little bit of research on them. So for example, if I was going to choose Cosmo Station, I would definitely do a quick Google search, see what they're about, and see whether or not they would actually be a trustworthy party to delegate my TIA tokens to. And once you've selected the crypto asset you're staking, as well as the validator that you wanna delegate your tokens to, it's just a simple matter of hitting on the stake button down here. Of course, I can confirm this information one more time. So I will get approximately 16% per year in APR with a 5% commission going to Cosmo Station. So the 16.02% is actually net of those commission fees. And one last important thing to note is that when you stake a lot of the tokens in the Cosmos or the Atom ecosystem, there is a three week unbonding period. So that means if you want to unstake TIA or Atom tokens, you have to wait three weeks to do that. So if you're planning on selling at any point shortly, then maybe staking is not the best idea. However, it could be a good idea if you wanna get some of that APR. And it could also be another airdrop qualifier for many other airdrops coming up in the near future. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit stake here. And then I'm going to delegate, let's say 20 TIA tokens to the Cosmo Station validator. So hit stake, it pops up in the Kepler wallet asking to approve the transaction. And this happens anytime you wanna approve a transaction on the Celestia network. You have to pay a small fee for the network fees, which is approximately six cents. No problem, let's go ahead and hit approve. Okay, so that is going through. If you want to, you can open up the Block Explorer and you can track your transactions process in greater detail. And this transaction has already gone through. So if I go back to the dashboard, now I can see the distribution of my assets with the total wallet value, and then it's split between what's actually available for me to spend and what is staked. So I've staked 20 TIA tokens. And if I scroll down here, that will show up as well in the my staking section. Now I currently don't have any rewards, but as that 16% APR accrues over time, I can come back to the Kepler dashboard and claim my rewards here. And I can either compound them and increase the amount that I have staked, or I can withdraw them to my wallet and then use them for something else. So yeah, those are the main things that you can do with the Kepler wallet. Another important factor is also actually that you can add contacts so if you're sending tokens to someone, you can pre-approve their wallet address and you can input that information in the contact section. And that way you don't have to worry about copy and pasting the correct wallet address and the memo every time you want to send funds. It makes it easier that way. So that is definitely a nice feature of the Kepler wallet as well. And actually, yeah, look, I can already claim one cent worth of Celestia staking rewards because it is constantly streaming in real time. So it's not like every week or month or so you get rewards. It's just constantly streaming in real time and you can come back and claim it or compound it as often as you like. So those are the basics of the Kepler wallet and how you can use it to manage your assets within the Cosmos ecosystem. If you wanna take your security with this to the next level, you can add on a hardware wallet to this as well. And then you'll be confirming transactions on that hardware wallet instead of simply just pushing a button in the browser extension, which just makes it a little bit more secure. Hopefully you found this video useful and I'll see you in the next one.